Hi there, welcome to Koji. Let's get your Koji link in bio set up. The first thing we'll want to do is tap on Get Started. This video is a complete getting started guide to Koji. And in this video, we're gonna be covering several topics. First, I'll cover the basics like adding your bio description and social media links to your profile. Then I'll be talking about how to add links and Koji apps in your profile. We'll be going through how to style your profile to add themes, backgrounds, buttons, and texts. Then we'll talk about some tools to help you manage your Koji profile. I'll be showing you how to add your Koji link to Instagram and TikTok link in bios. And then we'll be going through some creator best practices. We'll be leaving time codes in the description of this video, so feel free to skip ahead if you want to. Let's start editing our profile by adding some basic information. I'll type in my bio. Then you can tap on social links to start adding all of your social media accounts to your Koji profile. Some fields like Instagram require you to just enter your username. And other fields like the LinkedIn URL will require you to copy and paste the full URL. Once you've finished adding all of your social media accounts, you can tap on save at the top right to save your changes. Now that we've added our basic info, it's time to start adding some apps and links to our profile. If you previously used another link in bio service like Linktree, you can easily import all of the links into your new Koji profile. To do this, you'll want to navigate to the options tab at the top right then tap on import your existing link in bio. You'll choose the service, add a URL, and tap import. This will add all of your links into your Koji profile. If this is your first link in bio, you can scroll down to the profile links section below. Here we'll be able to add apps or links to our profile. Let's tap on the add app or link button. From here we'll be able to choose between adding a Koji app and adding an external link. Let's start off by adding an external link. All I need to do is paste the URL. The info from the link that you pasted will be pulled in to the link name, URL, and thumbnail, but you can edit all of these. So for example, I'm going to go ahead and change this to just say shop. When you're ready to add the link, just tap save at the top right. Now you'll notice that a new link is here in our list below. Next, let's add a Koji app to our profile. I'll tap on add app or link, and then tap on add new app. From here, you'll have access to the Koji app store. The Koji app store is filled with hundreds of apps for your link in bio, so try scrolling through and finding something that interests you. I'm gonna add this Ask Me Anything app. When you tap on an app, you'll be taken to the app store page, where you can preview the app, see a few screenshots and a description, and when you're ready to add the app to your profile, tap on the Add button. Most apps on Koji will require you to fill out a simple form. In this case, I need to add a cover photo. I'll upload an image from my photo library. And I'll add a short description. When you filled everything out, tap the Next button and you'll be able to see a preview of your app before you decide to publish it to your profile. You can check out some information about the app below and then tap on publish to add it to your profile. Now here, just like before, we can edit the link name and the thumbnail. I'm gonna change my link name to say AMA. Now we can save the link and it's now added to the list. I'm gonna go ahead and add a few more of my favorite apps into my profile, including the Dare Me app, a featured YouTube video embed, and a photo guest book. Now that we have a few links and apps in our profile, it's time to style our profile. At the very top, we'll navigate to the Style tab, and from here, we'll be able to edit the themes, the backgrounds, the buttons, and the fonts in our profile. You'll notice a few tabs near the bottom. The first tab is the Theme tab that lets you choose from several pre-made styled themes for your profile. 
I'm going to choose the theme with the pink background and white buttons. Next tab, we can edit the backgrounds, and you can choose all kinds of different backgrounds including pictures, videos, solid colors, or gradients. I'm going to add a video background, and I'll upload a video from my photo library. This is where you can really get creative and start to see your profile come to life. A lot of creators use the video background in order to feature their most recent TikTok, YouTube, or Instagram videos. Next, let's navigate to the Buttons tab, where we can choose from several kinds of different button styles, including solid buttons, transparent buttons, outlines, and these floating buttons, and a few other styles. Lastly, I'm going to choose a font that I like. Now that we've styled our profile, we can publish our profile by tapping Save at the top right. And you can see that our profile is live and ready for the world to see. It includes all of our links and all of our social media accounts at the bottom. So our profile is now published, but we may want to make some changes like adding some new apps or reordering the apps that appear on the screen. We can easily do this by tapping on the Manage button at the top left. From here, we'll have access to several tools that help us manage our profile, including some analytics, an easy way to share our profile, and our apps and links, and we can always go back to the edit screen by tapping on edit profile. For now, I'm going to tap on apps and links. And you'll notice that a menu has appeared that includes all of the apps and links that we added previously. If we scroll down, we can also see that we can add new apps and links from this menu. Let's go ahead and add a new app from the Koji App Store. This time we're going to add a link in bio essential. Every link in bio should have a tip jar. So let's go ahead and add it now. I'll add a title and a short thank you message. And this time I'll choose a cover photo from the image packs available on Koji. And from here we'll be taken to a preview menu where we'll have some additional options. You should feel familiar. Let's change the name. And let's change the thumbnail to match. Now when we're ready to add it to a profile, we tap publish. Now you can see that our tip jar has been added to the very bottom of the list. The other thing that you can do from this apps and links menu is reorder the links that appear in your profile. Now you may have noticed earlier that there were three dots that appeared in the profile links section. These are called highlights and it allows us to feature our apps and links front and center on our profile. I'm going to go ahead and add my tip jar. I'll add the ask me anything and I'll add the photo guest book. While we're at it, let's also edit the name and visual for this photo guest book. Now that we've reordered everything just like we want it, we can tap save, and our profile has now updated to include the new order and visuals we added. Now you may have noticed that some of these links have a little lightning bolt next to them, and what that means is that it's a Koji app. All Koji apps open up directly inside of your profile, meaning when somebody taps on it, it opens right up and then they can interact with it directly without ever leaving your profile. So let's leave a little tip. When someone completes a purchase, there's a checkout flow that will ask them for some credit card information and then they can pay by tapping on the pay button at the bottom. All of this happens directly inside of your link in bio, meaning that when they're done interacting with one app, they can continue to explore all of the other apps and links available in your profile. Now several of these apps facilitate transactions to help you earn money, and you can see all of your earnings by tapping on your profile image at the top right, and then tapping on Koji Pay Wallet. From here, you'll be able to see all of your most recent transactions, all of the completed transactions, and you can quickly withdraw funds via Stripe directly to your bank account by tapping on Withdraw Funds and setting up your Stripe account. From your Koji Pay wallet, you can also access all of your saved credit card information and also access support. To get back to our profile, we can simply tap on our profile image at the top right and tap on Profile.
Now that we have our link in bio all set up, let's add it to all of our social media accounts. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add Koji to your link in bio on Instagram and TikTok, but this should apply to all of your social media. The first thing we're going to need is we're going to need our Koji.2 short link. We can access this link by tapping on the manage button at the top left and then tapping on the share button. From here, we'll be able to quickly access our Koji.2 link by tapping on copy link. Now I'll navigate to Instagram and you'll notice in my Instagram profile, there's this edit profile button. When I tap on edit profile, you'll see that there are several fields that you can add. One of those fields is the website. We can paste our link in here. Then we can tap on done at the top right and you'll notice that our Koji.2 link is now inside of Instagram. And that means that anybody can open up our Koji profile directly inside of Instagram. They can access the tip jar, the ask me anything, all of the apps open up directly inside of Instagram. And that's what makes this so powerful. Next, let's go ahead and add it to TikTok. When I open up my TikTok profile, I'll tap on edit profile just like Instagram, but you may notice that the website field is not present inside of your TikTok profile. If this is the case, what you need to do is change your account to a business account on TikTok. We can do that by tapping the hamburger menu at the top right and then tapping on manage account. We'll find the switch to business account control here towards the bottom. From here, we fill out a simple form we can scroll down and choose the category that best describes our account. And then we'll be switched over to a business account. Now when we tap on edit profile, you'll see that website field is now present. So we can tap on it and paste in our Koji.2 link. Now inside of our TikTok profile, we have a link in bio. When we tap on it, just like on Instagram, our Koji profile now opens up directly inside of TikTok and anybody can access all of the apps available, like the Ask Me Anything app or the Dare Me app. All of these apps open up directly inside of TikTok. You'll want to do this with all of your social media profiles so that you have one uniform link. The other thing that's worth noting here is that if you make changes to your profile on Koji, those changes will be reflected automatically on all of your social media accounts. So there's no need to swap the links out when you make a change. Okay, so you created your Koji profile and it's now the link in bio on all of your social media platforms. That's amazing. Now it's time to run you through some best practices. The most important thing that you can do when you make profile updates is to share those updates on social media and direct people to your link in bio. For example, I just created this Ask Me Anything and I think it's super cool and I want people to start asking me questions. I can quickly share my link in bio by tapping on Manage, tapping on Share, and then sharing to any social platform or sharing the link. Let's share this one to Twitter. And anybody that follows me can quickly access my link in bio and find my AMA and participate. This just opened up directly inside of Twitter. This is the power of the Koji profile. It gives you the mobility and the power to share amazing content across all of your social media platforms at the same time. They don't need to be exclusive to one platform in order to participate within your link in bio. The next thing that's worth mentioning is to stay up to date with new apps on Koji. There are new apps being released every single week and there are already hundreds of apps to choose from that help you monetize, engage, and build your audience. You can check our new releases, they get updated every single week, or maybe you'll browse for something and you'll find something that you hadn't seen before in the Koji App Store. The last thing that you should know is that we're here to help, so if you need help creating something, just tap on the icon at the bottom right and you'll have access to our help center. You can talk to somebody on the Koji team and we usually reply in a few minutes or you can search for articles within our help center. We also have more videos on our YouTube channel to help you learn how to be successful using Koji. And that's it. 
If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something valuable, and please feel free to reach out to us at any point if you have any questions. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.